the half of it for me is very much um, like while it also has humor in it, it's a more melancholy film and it's yeah. more, it has more of a mature look and has more naturalistic look, right? But that's because I was basically making a coming of age. Like as much as I joke that it's a teen film, I don't think I've made a teen movie. I think I've made a movie of teenagers in it. And I think I like, ultimately I think it doesn't matter if you're 80 years old. I think we regress to being teens when it comes to love, right? Oh, that whole sure. hook yeah. could have yeah. been set in a nursing home. I just set it in high school in some ways that makes it more universal because most of us went to high school. It starts off seeming like it's about who gets the girl. You think you're going to be in the middle of a romantic comedy, right? Like you think it's like, and then these two people end up, like, or is it these two? You're like, not, not sure. But really what I want to do in the middle is sort of somewhat subvert that where it starts to question, is romance really, like is getting the girl really the most important thing? But then what about all these other kinds of love? Like the love that like a parent and a child have, the love like between two friends. And that's really, I think what the half of it is about is that there are all those other forms of love that you start to realize, like, not that they're more important, but they are just as important. 